What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few video games that I feel should be free for PS Plus in the future. Let's get right into this. So up first is Horizon Zero Dawn. This is a game that I have a lot of co-workers recommending to me. I've described this on the channel before and I've talked about this game on the channel before. But it's just to me, since there apparently is a lot to do in the game and it's a really lengthy game, it's just something that I haven't considered because of I don't have too much time these days for a really lengthy game. Apparently there's a lot to do in it. And I know it's only $20 or $30 in the store and I do plan on getting it in the future. I really want to play this game. It's just I haven't had time to finish off some of my other games to get time to play a lengthy game. However, I feel if it was free for PS Plus, it definitely would be something I could get into and at least I'd be able to download it and play it whenever I had time instead of purchasing it and wanting to play it right away. I could simply download it for free for PS Plus and wait a month or two until I cleaned up the rest of my games and then play it. However, I just don't want to purchase it and have it sit and that's why I just have yet to purchase it. But it definitely for me makes sense for it to be a free PS Plus game in the future. Next up is Project Cars 2. I recently purchased, not too long ago, the first Project Cars game. It's a lot of fun. I'm really into racing games. It is closed circuit racing, which most of the time I'm not a fan of, but for this game it's awesome. It doesn't take long to get used to. The mechanics are awesome, and it's really simple to play. On top of that, I know there's no customization of the game, but the career mode is pretty unique. You basically sign a contract with a team and then you can go and race for different racing classes depending on what contract you signed that year. So it has a very unique aspect to it. And since I really enjoyed the first Project Cars game, I think that it would be fun to have them have Project Cars 2 for free for PS Plus. To me, that would be awesome because I'm really enjoying the first one. And I feel like once I finish the first one, if this was a future free PS Plus game, I would be on Cloud9. I would really want to play this game. And I really, even though it is on PlayStation Now, and I plan on getting PlayStation Now, I just feel like a lot of people could get into the Project Cars series if it was free for PS Plus. Next up is God of War, which is the last God of War that came out. I've never played a God of War game. It's just one of those games that it's not really up my alley. It's not something that I honestly feel like I would enjoy to play. It's not really a game that interests me. However, if it was free for PS Plus, I would at least make an attempt to play the game and try it out for the first time because it's not something I would want to pay money for. But if it was free for PS Plus, I would at least make an attempt to play the game and try it out for the first time. Now I've done this with other PS Plus games in the past where I've tried them out and upon downloading them, trying them out for the first time, I ended up deleting them or I have them sit for a while and I don't play it because it's not really something I'm into and then end up deleting it. But I at least make attempt for most PS Plus games these days. I'll at least download them, try them out, maybe try them a couple times. And if it's just not something I'm into, I delete it. So if God of War is not something I'm into, I would end up deleting it, but I would like to try it out for the first time at least, and it would be awesome if it was, if it was a free game for PS Plus. Next up is Rocket League. This is another one that is for PlayStation Now. However, I just don't have PlayStation Now at the moment. I plan on getting it in the future, but Rocket League's been around for a few years. To me, it makes perfect sense to have it free for PS Plus now because it is one of those games that are really simple, but yet a lot of fun and you could play with your friends. That's what really appeals to me. It is basically soccer with cars. I've already looked up the trophy list for this game. There is a lot of trophies that I think are easy to get or somewhat easy to get. And the Platinum looks like it's something that can be attainable. So it is something that interests me this game. And I think it honestly makes sense for it to be free for PS Plus. And the last game on my list is Uncharted 4. This is PlayStation 4's top selling video game of all time. So right there, they've already made their money for this game. So it wouldn't cost them much if they were to give it out for free for PS Plus. 
It makes sense. They've already made their money for the game. Let people have the game for free for PS Plus. It's only free for one month. And then see what happens from there. They've done this in the past before where they've given out free games that are really popular. For me, this is a game that really interests me because whenever I first got my PS4, it came with the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, which I recently just started playing. And the reason for that is because I really want to play Uncharted 4, but I decided because I still have not played Uncharted 3, before I even play Uncharted 3, which I currently own, I want to go back and play the first two Uncharted games, and then play the third one, and then play the fourth one, which looks like it's amazing. I basically want to play the games in order. So recently I've been playing the first Uncharted game, I've almost finished it. Then I'm going to play the second one, then I'm going to play the third one, which is the first time I've ever played the third one. And then, I'm, then I really want to play Uncharted 4. I know right now as I'm recording this video, it's free for PS Plus for limited time. But I don't know if I'm going to complete the first three Uncharted games in order and complete them in time to still be able to play Uncharted 4 and finish Uncharted 4 before it is taken off of PS Now. So I'm really trying to grind out on, on the Uncharted games. I really want to finish them as fast as I can, but I also want to enjoy the games along the way. And I don't want to burn myself out by just playing them because that's going to make me not want to play Uncharted 4. But with that being said, if it was free for PS Plus, which it makes sense why they would do it, then I'd be able to just download it and save it. And then once I finished the first three Uncharted games, which I currently own, at that time I could go and play Uncharted 4 whenever I have time to do so and whenever I've completed the previous ones. So these are the games that I feel like Sony and PlayStation really should have for free for PS Plus because they're games that a lot of people like. And PlayStation have been, has been doing this over the past couple months of... They'll have a couple months of really good games, and then they'll have a couple months where they're not so good games or games that not a lot of people are interested in. And then they go back to games that are really popular once again. So I really hope that these are future PS Plus free games, but we shall see. Comment down below what you would like to see free for PS Plus this coming year or in the future. And I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.